Hey guys, it's uh, Dawn and Gertie here today. Um, just wanted to mention something about inflatable, the inflatable safety vest. Um, I always see people post up and it's usually something like this. I just had a really bad crash accident on my horse and um, so now I really want protection. Talk to me about what's the best, um, best equine safety gear out there, right? So I made a bunch of videos to answer those questions, but it just, it's just weird to me that the first thing I usually see is a ton of people recommending the inflatable um, air vests. And okay, what I'm wearing right now, I'm wearing, I'm wearing my Cantec vest and I have videos on it, close-ups, but what you'll notice about it, it's hard. It's hard all the way around. It's molded so it doesn't crush me because I have a thing about being claustrophobic. So I can't have the ones that tie down on me. Oh, there's a, I don't know if you could see there's a mattress in that trash can so Gertie was like ooh but um so it's it's because it's molded all around my body there's no gaps and there's no crushing me or anything like that it just sits there uh, kind of like a turtle shell it's really comfortable I can breathe I can move and everything right so the thing with the inflatable vest is <laughs> I don't know if people are thinking about it this way and I don't know why I'm thinking about it this way, but you know me, I think weird, right? It has a 50% chance of being there when you need it. Um, and that changes more, uh, that the chances go up or, up or down depending, okay? So that is very different than my Cantec. My Cantec is there 0% of the time if I don't wear it. If I wear it, it will be there 100% of the time. It is guaranteed to be there when I need it um, uh, for an accident, for any single occurrence. It's going to be there as long as I wear it. Guaranteed. It has to be there. I mean, it's there. It's on me. It's physically on me, right? The inflatable ones, there's a 50-50 chance, meaning it can either be it can either deploy or it won't. There are several reasons and several factors that will make it so that it does not deploy. There are many things that the manufacturer recommends you do to, to raise the chances that it will deploy at the correct time when you need it. And then uh, well, let's go over those things real quick, okay? So you you must, you are supposed to send it in for servicing every year. After every single incident, it needs to go in for servicing. Um, it needs to be kept, it needs to be, it needs to be taken care of. This is safety equipment. This isn't your your gym socks. You don't toss them in your in your car and let it bake in the sun, okay? It needs to be inside in a cool environment and it needs to be taken care of. Um, so things like that. If you save money, you don't you don't turn it in for servicing. You wanna save money, you wanna buy used. This thing is you know 10 years old use you have no idea the condition of it um you don't know the previous owner um let their horse you know use it as a as a pillow at night um you know st i don't know random stuff right but that will lessen the chances so that it's under 50 percent chance when I say 50% chance, I think I already said, right? It means that it either will deploy or it won't deploy. There are things like canister, the canister is expired or the canister gets old or the canister got, got dinged up and the connection between the canister and the vest, um, some critter got and chewed a hole in, the, in, in a corner of the vest and you didn't even know it, but that's gonna let all the air escape or something jammed up the, the, the pin um, in the release mechanism or you know, there's a lot of different factors. So 
<laughs> every time you need it, it's a 50-50 chance that it's going to actually deploy and be there. And then when it actually does, um, you have about, give or take, five seconds of maximum protection while it is fully deployed. As soon as it is deployed, it starts to release the air. That is a must, that is a safety issue because if it retains the air, it can help to crush you. Um, so it has, it, it's, it's this whole thing, but it has to release the air um, immediately. So in about, I don't know how many seconds, it, it's all, it all differs, right? It's gonna be different if there's a horse laying on top of you and um, that's gonna put extra pressure uh, to help to release the air. And then it's gonna go back down to just fabric with no air in it. And within like a minute or so, it's gonna be empty, right? So if the horse is laying on top of you, um, now you have no protection. My point is that protection lasts for, I'll be generous and say a minute or two, okay? And then you have none. So if you're, you're somewhere where you need more than protection, and I know a lot of people are going to say a lot of um, accidents are over in, in two seconds, and so you don't need any more protection than for two seconds. Well, that's not exactly true when a horse is pinning you down, right? Um, a, lot, a lot of times you need more than two seconds of protection. Or if you fall under the horse and the horse is trampling you. Or you're in a group ride and it's not just your horse that tramples you, but then it's everybody else's horse that's all trampling you. Um, so anyways, I just wonder if people really think about the, the realistic expectations of how much protection you're going to get from an inflatable versus something that is versus something that is completely physical and strong. So there you go. I just wanted to throw this out there. Now I'm not saying that inflatables are bad, not at all. They are great. But when I see people say stuff like, um, oh, the inflatables are awesome. That's what the inventors use. And you know them, they use only the best. Well, that's not an accurate statement. Come on, guys. You know, you, you say shortcuts like that, that's going to get someone hurt. Yeah, inventors use that, but they must use that over a foam vest. They cannot, will not ever use it alone. It is not meant to be alone because of everything I just mentioned above um, and more. And I have other videos with more details on the facts of it, but really shortcut answers like that posted on the, on the Facebook and the internet, um, it just worries me because I was in that position where I got hurt in an equine accident and I wanted protection. And for me, when I say I want protection, I do not mean something that is going to protect me 50% of the time or is going to, um, I don't want that chance that I, I don't want the toss of the coin of whether or not my vest is going to protect me or not. If I am spending that kind of money for a vest, I want it to be there 100% of the time. I want, you know what I mean? I want it to be reliable 100%, not a toss of the coin of whether or not it's going to be there. And then the other thing is, my vest is going to protect me even when I'm on the ground. There are a lot of accidents that happen when you're on the ground. Um, other horses kicking at each other and then accidentally kicking you, or that almost happened to me in this vest. And um, also uh, kicking at flies and then accidentally kicking you, or you know anything like that. This will still protect me the whole time, the whole entire time it is on me, it is on duty, okay? Versus an inflatable. The only time you can count on that being on duty is after um, the, the trigger has been pulled. What is it called? The lanyard has been pulled and 
and read up. It's like a 40 pound pressure um, to pull it. I don't remember exactly. You'll I'll have to look that up again or watch my other video. I, I knew it once, but um, so you need a significant amount of pressure to pull that pin. And then once that pin is pulled, you have about, I don't know, two minutes and it's on duty for those two minutes. And after that, it's not on duty again until you send it in for servicing if it was in a crash um, and or you put in a new canister, uh, blah, blah, blah. All right, so there you go. Hope this helps. Stay safe, you guys, and be, be realistic about, about your protection because that's important. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.